I went to Dollar General and I was expecting to find a spring collection, Easter stuff put in, um, which I did find both of those, but those mugs that I've been looking for, I'm just not finding them anymore. I do need to maybe venture to some other Dollar Generals. I've only found that blue mug, which was part of my um, Valentine's Day to spring mug transition video. So if you didn't watch that, I will link it down below for you guys. But here's what I did find. They actually had some really cute stuff and I actually got some food on this trip to Dollar General. So I'll just show you guys. I don't know what, how I even got off of this train the Nutter Butter train, but I saw it and I was like, I'm getting back on that. Um, I discovered these treats, I think at my brother's house. Actually, this is really random and weird, but so many of my snacks that I love now, I discovered at my brother's house. Like when I would go babysit and look through their pantry. So that's how I got on Nutter Butters. That's a weird story, but there it is. But what I didn't know was that they have wafers. Like, did you know about this? I don't, I don't even know, but it is the same brand. Um, so I thought I'd give those a try. I'm not gonna like try food in today's video. But then I saw like a dupe to, which I didn't expect this, but there's a dupe to Girl Scout cookies. And first of all, the packaging is actually really cute. Of course, like let's not, like the Girl Scout cookies are elite. Um, so there's that, but this packaging is really cute by this brand Clover Valley. I don't really know much about them. They also had the peanut butter dreams one or whatever that's called. Samoas are my favorite. Of course, they can't call those that because that's the Girl Scout cookie name, but these are the coconut fudge caramel cookies. So my personal favorites, but I wanted to also get a box of the fudge mint cookies. I think these are the general public's favorites, but not me. I cannot put mint and chocolate together. Something about that just feels very bad to me. I know that's weird and crazy. I don't make the rules my taste buds do, um, but I wish I did. I will say that. I really, I wish I liked fut, chocolate and mint together and I wish I liked pickles and I don't. Like, it's so frustrating to me. But before we continue, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is so kindly sponsored by Huge Casino. It's such a beautiful app game and it's free to download for iOS and Android. This app has over a hundred casino games that you guys can play, including slots, blackjack, poker, roulette, baccarat. There's so many cute options and there's so many slot options too. And it's so fun and interactive. This game is just for entertainment purposes only. This is not real money that you're actually gambling with. And with my signup link, which I'm gonna leave in the description box below and pinned in the comment, they're also gonna give you guys a bonus of $5 million in chips to start playing with. They have so many different slot machines as well that they've made as retro and some even modern day ones that actually look like some of the real slot machines that you can play in real casinos, which is really cool. My current favorite is Dorothy's Adventure, which has the Wizard of Oz theme. And it's such a beautiful game, you guys. The sound, the clicks, I love all of those things. And I also love when um, an app has just like really beautiful colors and illustrations and graphics and this is just there's over 58,000 um, reviews on this app I mean that alone speaks for itself like so many people love this and I love it too and once you download it you're just gonna see why it's such a fun game and it's also very interactive where you can actually join a club and play with your friends and join like billionaire leagues, which is really fun. So I'm gonna add the download link to the description box and the pinned comment where you guys can click on it and you can go straight to downloading it. Don't forget to come back here though and let me know which slot machine or which game was your favorite. My current favorite is Dorothy's Adventure. I'm just a huge Wizard of Oz fan and finding that slot machine was so freaking cute. I love it. I love the rainbow. Everything's so adorable in it. So that's my personal favorite. But once you download, come back and let me know which slot machine has been your favorite. 
And don't forget to use my specific link because through there you guys will get the $5 million in chips as a welcome bonus. So thank you so much to Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video and back on with the haul. Now let's get into more of like the decor things that I found. So first of all, I found this really cute little farmhouse style laundry decor piece. This was $5 and let me just say, Dollar General is actually holding some hidden gems when it comes to decor. They have lamps, they have wall decor, they have some really amazing things in there. Um, wash dry fold and love how it's actually a real hanger. And then I guess you can like clip on little socks that need their pair to be matched. That would be super cute. I love the color palette. Like I was actually very shook by Dollar General on that one. Um, then I found these and I've noticed a theme too with Dollar General. They very much do a lot of farmhouse. I would say that I venture to see more of that than I do modern decor, but I'm not mad about it cause like that's my style. So these were $3, these little like hanging plaques. Farm fresh eggs, super cute. You can pause the screen if you wanna just take a longer look. I also really like the size of these because I feel like they're a great size to just be big enough, but they're also just small enough to fit in a tear tray. So if you need to be styling like a little shelf or something in your kitchen or a tear tray, these could be like super adorable for that. Like these were $3 at Dollar General, <laughs> huh? But also I just found out that Dollar General, correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I think they own Pop Shelf. And if that's true, I have to say, I kind of am expecting more from Dollar General because Pop Shelves are really amazing. The way that the store's set up and all the variety of things they have. Com and I will say this Dollar General in particular is beautiful because it's brand new, but Knowing that the two are connected, I don't know. I kinda, I'm kind of hoping that maybe we're gonna see some better updates at Dollar General, but then I found these. Now these little babies were a dollar. Look at that, look at that. Like how cute with the chicken wire. I love the black. I love that it says milk, okay? So the cow gives milk, the pig gives bacon. That's, I don't know how I feel about that one, but like, there we go. And then eggs. That is actually precious. Whether you style them three together on a wall or again a tear tray or little like nooks and cranny in your decor, these are just gems for a dollar. I guess I'm on a new kick. I've I'm I'm wanting to rediscover body wash and shampoos and all the things. And I got this dove, which is a mango and almond butters. That just I'm a fruity girl, so I didn't even smell this in the store because I just knew. I picked it up, I was like, ah, I just know. Didn't even smell it in the store. Um, yeah, that, that's everything that I thought it would be. So that smells absolutely amazing. That's what I want to smell like fruit. I want to smell like you just went out into a beautiful field in Switzerland and there were just like fruit trees and then you just plucked a fruit and you went into the perfect uh, spring water and took a bath and the fruit, you rub the fruit. Like, I don't know why, but like, that's what I want to personally smell like. So that smells like that, I think. Um, then I picked up some really cute Easter stickers. I got these for a dollar. Cute little bunny tail on those. And then Peeps has some stickers. I'm also noticing that there's a lot of Peep merch now, even more so than last year. Um, like for example, I found a peep pen and apparently there are different colors to collect, but I only found yellow. So I'm gonna have to be on the hunt for more of these pens and see if I can find the rest of this collection. There's 10 to find. So there's that. Okay. In one of my last Dollar General hauls, which I'll link down below, I also have a Dollar General playlist now. So I've tried to compile all those videos into their own playlist if you just wanna like watch the videos back to back. But who remembers when I hauled those books? They're in my craft room right now. But I don't think 
I got Wizard of Oz. Now I could be wrong, I should just have looked back at the video, but I got Alice in Wonderland, I think like Tom Sawyer. Um, I don't remember what the other ones were, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I did get Wizard of Oz, but for whatever reason, while I was in the store, I was like, no, I don't think I got this one. Um, so the, these little books are so cute and I think they're like $1.50. Yeah, so these were such a great little find, whether you want to add it to your library um, and you're just a collector of certain stories, like whether you collect Alice in Wonderland or Wizard of Oz, just know they have this version at Dollar General, super cute. Then I picked up these little candy rings. Now Dollar Tree actually does these little cute candy rings, rings as well, but I haven't seen this one released quite yet, but they are so pretty. And they're individually wrapped, which is so amazing too, because if you have multiple baskets to work with, you don't have to put one per basket if you didn't want to. You could just open these up and then put one, whatever, you know, however that goes for you. Then I picked up this little pretzel bag of food. First of all, the packaging sold me. I hate to admit it, but I'm a packaging girl. It, it does it for me, I know it shouldn't. Um, but you get raspberry, strawberry, lemon, blueberry, flavored yogurt, pretzels. That is interesting, lemon? I definitely have to try this. So there's that. Then I found these cute little candies and I don't know why, but they definitely took me back to my childhood. These are crayon bubble gums. And this reminds me of, it shouldn't, but it reminds me of the cigarette bubble gums. Who remembers those in the eighties? They don't I definitely don't think they make those anymore. Maybe you have to go into like a retro candy shop to find them, but um, how cute are these? These are adorable. I've never seen these before. So those were a great pickup. Then I picked up these little pony beads. These actually rang up a dollar, which was really awesome. So I got several packets of those for my junk journaling habit. So we got that. And then I got, these are the last things, but I actually got some acne patches. I don't ever use these. I had some like little breakouts on my forehead and I don't put anything on my skin. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try some of these little patches. So here is this blue one, which is like hydrocolloid. I don't even know what that is, if I'm being honest. I don't know. It seems like something great to help with. Um, they, they all say the same thing. I'm, I thought that maybe like the color palette meant something different, like maybe some different type of ingredient, but I don't think there's anything different in these. But, um, but anyways, so I picked those up and that's it. That's what I found at my Dollar Generals. I was kind of hoping for some mugs, for some spring mugs, um, but I really haven't found anything. I do think I need to go to another Dollar General. So I'm gonna try to venture out of my town and see if I can't score some cute mugs because some of my favorite mugs have actually come from Dollar General. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I'm gonna link the download link in the description box and pinned in the comments for you guys so you can go straight to downloading it and get those $5 million chips as a welcome bonus. And don't forget to come back and let me know which slots has been your favorite. I'm wondering if some of you guys are gonna love Dorothy's Adventure as much as I do. Um, look at that. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.